What is up guys, my name is Jordan, we're going to make a quick video using Cinema 40 to make another simple picture. The picture is going to look a little something like this. Where there's a light source, we're going to add these geometric shapes so that they look like they're in the scene. They're casting a shadow and um, they can be sitting on the floor or up in the air and somewhat looks like they're in the scene. Obviously, um, it doesn't look perfect, but we'll just go with the basics for now. Alright, to start off, we're going to open up Cinema 40. Change some settings here. 1280 by 720. Okay. <clears throat> First thing you need to do is... Um, pick an image that you want to use. Now I'm going to be using a little bit different one. Um, I just downloaded it off the internet. It looks a little something. But here, I'll just show you where to go. Here it is. Something like this. This is a good picture because uh, it's a somewhat high resolution, simple to work with, and it has a flat surface. So if you're looking for an image, maybe look for like a picture with a road or a parking lot. And this also, what I was looking for was um, this shadow. So I kind of know where the light source is coming from. Because we obviously can't see where the sun is in this picture. We kind of know it's coming from an angle kind of like this. Because also you can see over here, these trees aren't casting a shadow onto this road, meaning it has to be somewhat further up in the sky. Okay. So now that I found my image, we're going to open up my new material, double click it, and then go to texture, load image. We're going to open, we're going to look for that image and open it. And do you want to create a copy of the project location? Sure, why not? Okay. Now, we need to open up a floor. And then op also open up a background. With floor highlighted, we're going to go and drag our image up onto floor. Do the same for background. So with floor highlighted, and then click on the also the texture and material. We're going to go over to projection, and then click on uh, frontal, and then right click on floor go to Cinema 4D Tags and give it a compositing tag. With compositing tag highlighted, we're going to go over here and then uncheck self-shadowing and then check compositing background. Okay, then the next step is to also take this material and then put it... Oh, I already did that. Okay, let's see how it looks. So now it looks somewhat normal. We have a floor that we can put stuff on and we have a background giving the scene an actual background when the floor is not there, so like that. So when the background, or the floor is not there, you can still see it's not just black. Otherwise it would look like there's nothing there. Okay, the next step is to take the floor and then align it with the surface that you're going to use as a something to cast shadows on or set an image on or a geometric shape. Now this can be a little tricky at times, but we kind of want to look for is um, the horizon. But in this in this picture, it's a little bit different because if I just lined this line up with the horizon, um, it wouldn't really work just because this this street is not level to the horizon or it's not parallel to the horizon. So we're just going to kind of eyeball it. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we can make it look better later. Okay, that should work right there. I'm going to scoot it over a bit. Okay. And then we're going to open up some geometric shapes. You can open up really whatever you want. Just as long as they're not too big. So we're going to open up some shapes here. Oh, oops. You can open a cube. Open up sphere. We're gonna make all of them a little bit smaller. That one's about good. 
Now we got, uh, that should be good enough. Actually, this look a little bigger. Okay, now kind of position them somewhat where you want them. This one's gonna go there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Oops. I'm gonna have the Taurus sitting on the floor. Or the ground. Like that. And the cube, I'm gonna bring it forward. Okay, that should be good. Okay, the next thing we want to do is create a camera. So click on camera right here. And then what this is going to do for us, now that we have our floor kind of where we want it, we, um, we want to be able to move throughout the scene without messing up this, um, this picture, this orientation of the floor compared to what we're looking at. So we, we can actually click on camera so now we're actually viewing what our camera is seeing or we can go to use camera and default camera now we can actually go throughout the scene and you can see this is where we were just looking at that way we can move around the scene do things to it and then we can click on cameras then use camera and then go to camera and then we're back to where we were and then this is what our final shot will look like now to make sure that your floor is oriented right to the floor, to the street here. We're going to click this render preview and then make it so it looks kind of make sure it looks like it's actually oriented so that this is sitting on the floor. And that looks about right. So we're going to leave it like that. Next, we're going to go we're going to add a light source. To do this, we are going to go to our default camera so we can see the scene a little bit better. Add a light up here. So I'll click on light. There's different lights you can use. Target light, spotlight, but I'm just going to go with the uh, Omni light, which is right here. Drag it up. And since our shadows are be cat will be casting from the right, we're going to have the light source to the right of all these. Um, the right of all the objects here. Bring it up. And let's see roughly what that looks like. Now this is not going to be, it's not going to look perfect the first time, but um, after playing around with it for a while, it'll look good. Okay. Now as you can see, this face and this is really dark, so we're going to bring it forward a little bit. So go back, default camera. And then drag this forward towards the scene a little bit. Alright. Click back to camera and then go preview render. And that looks a little bit better. We'll worry about these dark spots later on. We can fix those with a secondary light. But now what we want to do is focus on getting the shadows to cast on the floor that we have. So now we want to go to floor. Click on the compositing tag and make sure that it said the check is receive shadows. It should already be checked, so we'll leave it like that. Then we'll go up to here to light, and then click on shadow, and then go to shadow maps soft. And this will give you more options about shadows. Bring the intensity down a little bit, and then I like to. This shadow almost has like a hint of blue in the sky, so I'm gonna go over here to blue. And then give it like a grayish, bluish. So gray is over here and blue, obviously. So we'll go with something like this almost. And then resolution. We'll just bump it up to 300. I'll we'll see what that looks like. So as you can see, we have some shadows here. Our cube doesn't seem to be hitting the floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to go make sure that this isn't it looks like the cube's shadow is landing right where they're right where our sphere is. So 
That's a little bit better. Okay, we'll go with that. Alright, the next step is we want to get rid of some of these hard shadows right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a second light. Go to your default camera so you can maneuver around a little bit better here. Yeah. And then we don't want this one to dominate the other light. We just want to get rid of some of those those dark shadows. So we're going to go to intensity, bring the intensity down to like 50, a little less than 50. Okay, go back to your D or normal camera, do a little render. Maybe even bring that light a little down more even. That should be good. Okay. I'm going to bring the shadow intensity up a little bit. There, that should be good. Okay. Now, we pretty much have this. It looks good enough. I'm just going to play with this cube a little bit. See if I can get it to actually make it a polygon. You can play over the extrude, make it a polygon. Whoa. To do this, make it a polygon. Select this, collect the or er, select this, and then right click on the image. You can do all these different ones. Pretty much just play around with them and you'll figure it out. I'm not gonna explain it right now, but um, I don't know, you can do some add some new materials. Just make different colors to add to different things or make this red. Make another one. Make some like blue or something, just to give these things some colors. I didn't put these in the other picture I showed as an example, but um, this should be cool. Let's try. It. Let's see what reflection looks like. We're just gonna add 100% reflection without putting any different colors or anything on it. Put this on the sphere, and we're gonna add a sky to see if. Oh, I just added a floor. Delete the floor. Okay. Add a sky. We'll go to sky. Put this image in the sky. Give it a compositing tag. Seen by camera. Take that off. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, yeah, that looks sweet. So this ball is giving you a little reflection of pretty much a 3D. It's not perfect if you look closely, but it looks, close. it looks good enough. So that should conclude this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions um, on rendering, there's other videos on there. Pretty much just click this. Again, make sure your render settings are good to go. Make sure you're, you specify a place to save. Um, this will probably just be like... geometric shapes or whatever and then um, we don't need global illumination or anything like that for this and uh, that should be it so that concludes this tutorial make sure that you follow me on twitter subscribe leave a comment like the video dislike the video um, it's good to have some feedback and i'll see you guys next time